Main article. Battle aboard the Empirical. Your destiny is now your own. Sever all ties to your past. No one must know that you still serve me. Now go. And remember that the dark side is always with you. Darth Vader. To Starkiller Starkiller had to suppress a smile as he strode into Darth Vader's chambers. Beyond the viewport, a fleet of Imperial Star Destroyers clustered around the incomplete executor, the Emperor's flagship. When Vader informed him as much, Starkiller assumed that Vader had lured the Emperor to them and asked when they would strike. Vader corrected him. Palpatine's presence had not been requested. His spies had followed Starkiller there. With that, Vader ignited his lightsaber through his shocked pupil's abdomen, just as the Emperor, communicating via proxy, entered the room. Palpatine declared that Vader had forgotten his place, and taking on Starkiller as his apprentice had been an act of treachery. The Emperor demanded Starkiller's death, and after a moment of hesitation, Vader complied, ignoring Starkiller's pleas. The apprentice was thrashed about the chamber and smashed through the viewport into the vacuum of space, much to Palpatine's sadistic delight. While Starkiller was unconscious, his body was collected from the vacuum by Vader's droids and brought to the Dark Lord's science vessel, the Empirical. While Starkiller's body was rebuilt, he remained unconscious, believing himself dead as he experienced a multitude of visions and memories. When he finally awoke, he was relieved for the end of the visions, but he screamed when he realized the nature of his circumstances. He was restrained on a laboratory table with Darth Vader standing above him. Starkiller accused Vader of trying to kill him, but Vader told him that his execution was Palpatine's demand, which forced the Sith Lord's hand. Starkiller was presented with the option of re-entering Darth Vader's service, with the assurance that if he refused, he and all witnesses would be destroyed in the laboratory's self-destruction. With no other options, Starkiller grudgingly accepted, and Vader released his apprentice's restraints. Darth Vader elaborated that with Palpatine's spies watching his every move, he needed a distraction to divert attention away from him. While the laboratory droids provided him with a new lightsaber, Starkiller suggested an assassination, though Vader dismissed it, as no single act of that kind would gain Palpatine's notice. Instead, Vader made clear that Starkiller would have to raise an army to oppose the Emperor, an alliance of rebels and dissidents. Vader gave Starkiller free reign in how to pursue his objective, leaving only the order that he was to sever all ties to his past save proxy, to ensure that no one found out that he served Vader. With a final assurance that the dark side was always with Starkiller, Vader cut his transmission, revealing that he was communicating via proxy. Proxy was overjoyed by his master's survival, as it meant that he could still fulfill his primary programming and kill Starkiller himself. Informing Starkiller of their location aboard the Empirical in the Dominus system, Proxy then hacked into the Empirical's navigation system and set it on a collision course for the Dominus star forcing him and Starkiller to make their way to the rogue shadow before the imminent destruction of the Empirical. When Starkiller inquired about Juno, Proxy informed him that she was alive and on board, left in a holding cell after being branded a traitor for her association with Starkiller. As they encountered Imperial forces aboard the dying ship, Starkiller drew his new lightsaber, realizing it was Ram Kota's former weapon. Then, Despite Proxy's cautions that doing so was contrary to Vader's orders to sever ties with his past, Starkiller made a beeline for Juno's cell to rescue her. Assuring her that he was leaving the Empire behind, thus keeping her in the dark about his continued allegiance to Vader, Starkiller brought her along to continue working as his pilot. Explosive bolts severed the umbilical connecting the rogue shadow to the empirical just as they boarded, and Starkiller ordered Proxy to fly the ship away from the science vessel. Juno took control of the ship almost immediately after, with Starkiller giving her free reign as to their destination. Once they had escaped, Starkiller shared with her his intention to create a rebel army to oppose the Empire, as well as his desire to find a teacher to show him the aspects of the Force that Darth Vader could not, or would not. To that end, they resolved to find Ram Kota, who had survived his duel with Starkiller.